YouTubers, I want to do a video on the my first impressions of the MyTouch 3G from T-Mobile. Um, I got it in black, as you can see. Um, had it for like five days now. Um, so first off, if you're on a T-Mobile contract, you have if your contract is up, you get it for two hundred dollars. But if it's not up, if you're still have two years left you're gonna have to pay like 400 for it but it's a very good phone um, it's a lot lighter it's a lot thinner you can see it's pretty thin it's a lot lighter than the G1 um, the screen is a nice size it feels really good in the hand <coughs> um, so it has this trackball down here which is really easy to use you can use that or the touch screen. It has six buttons down here. The end, the call, the uh, search, go back, menu, and home. And a trackball, those are the buttons you can use. There's a volume rocker. And you can take off the back of the phone. Um, and your SD card is under there, and your battery, and your SIM card. And then you can see you could change the back. You can buy these. My Touch Shell, you can get it at the T-Mobile store for $20. This is the one it actually came with. It's a black back, but I wanted to change it up a little, so I got this. Looks pretty cool. Um, and just going to the phone. So you can see, it's got these three screens. Your first screen, then two more to the left and to the right where you can put the apps you want and you can put them wherever you want so you see how I put them like that down in this way and Google search bars up there then at the top it shows you 3G how many bars of service you have, the time and the battery is what it shows at the top so it's really easy to customize so let's say you wanted to take an app this is the regular menu, so you could take an app like this, hold it down, and then you just drag it and put it onto your home screen or your screen over there. And if you want to take it away, you just take it, drag it, and put it back into the trash over here. And it's not really the trash, it just puts it back into this menu bar, which goes up and down. So that's really easy for using uh, applications. I already downloaded this application right there. It's called Backgrounds, which you could open it up and you get all different types of wallpapers. Um, that's in the Android Marketplace right here. So this is what the Android Marketplace looks like, where you can get all different types of apps. Most of them are free. They're pretty good apps. They're not like the apps on the iPhone, but you know they're getting pretty kind of close. They're still working on the App Store right now. So um, for texting, there's this. So there's this is the regular texting, and then you could also switch it to this way which is a lot easier to type because when it's this way it's kind of hard to type so it's kind of a warning for this way if you you like to text that way it's a little small of a keyboard but this way it's nice it's nice and big and it's easy to use you could also set up whatever email you have um, you could also sync it with a Mac now which you couldn't do on the G1 um, and you can put all types of widgets, like here are two widgets for putting on Wi-Fi and dimming the screen. Um, it has good call quality. Um, um, what else? It's it's easy like to hold it if it's good in your hand. Um, and again, it's cool because you could customize it kind of by putting these shells on and stuff. It's really easy to slide on and off. Um, 
This is the one I got, but there's like all different types you could get. If you're looking for like a solid touchscreen phone, this is a good way to go. You have to sign up for like a thirty-five debt, thirty-five dollar data plan to get data, and like the internet and unlimited text messages. So that's it's pretty good price. Um, what's cool about it is like if you're in the middle of something, playing game or uh, you get a call and you get a text message, it won't interrupt anything. You'll do it come up in a toolbar like up here where you just slide down after the call or getting an email or something like that and it'll work that way instead of interrupting your call or whatever you're doing. So it runs lots of things in the background which is good. And then it's cool to have a combination of the touch screen you can use or you could also use the trackball to move around. So that helps with all different types of things. Um, there is GPS which works well there's all different types of apps like this app here called right there called ring droid or you could like cut up like your music to turn it into a ringtone make it smaller make it bigger whichever part of the song it'll turn it into the ringtone for you so there are some pretty cool apps you can download right now um, if you see here all the apps I have and those apps if you want to take it onto a home screen you just bring that up and then so hold it down and then bring it and there's Facebook you see so it's on there and if you don't want it there you just hold it down drag it and put it back and it'll go back into here so whichever apps you want on the screen at any time you could have so that's a cool way to customize it. You could also get what backgrounds you want, like this background I downloaded from this app called Backgrounds. So that's really cool. There's YouTube down there, which is really cool. The camera is okay. It's not that great. Um, it does do autofocus. A little problem with the camera is like when you're taking a picture, it takes a little second to render before like it actually shoots the picture, which could get a little annoying. But other than that, it's a pretty good camera. It's a pretty good phone altogether, you know, calling, the touch screen is good, email, internet, all that kind of stuff. And if you're into, like, customizing your phone, like, this kind of stuff, it's really good for that. Um, you go into the T-Mobile store, pick up shells or skins or cases, and then it's really easy to get on and off, which is cool. The speaker is okay for, like, playing music out of it. Like, just go into my music. I'm going to play a song. It's like an okay speaker if you want to listen out of the phone. Just play a song here. Somebody call 911. So it's a pretty good. Um, it's a little blurry. It blurs out your music a little bit. It's still okay. But otherwise, I'm really happy with the phone. It does what I wanted to do. Um, it comes in three colors, white, black, and red. I went with the black. So whatever you like the best, you can get that one. But it's just a quick first impression of the T-Mobile G2 MyTouch 3G. If you have any questions about it, you could uh, comment. I'll get back to you. Please comment and subscribe, rate. Um, I'm going to have other videos. You can check out my unboxing of the G2. Really cool box it comes with, but thanks for watching.